Mwah! Beautiful! Just a good, hard-working game for the Raptors. New Orleans Pelicans coming in, having won all three games on the road to start their road trip, and playing pretty good basketball, and obviously having Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. JV and Serge Ibaka had a ton of work to do in this game, but the Raptors come away with the 122-118 victory. And the whole team... I mean, I understand 118 points given up. Yeah, well, Drew Holiday went off like crazy. But offensively, the Raptors came to play, and you know what? They contained Boogie and Anthony Davis. They found a way to do so. Now, we'll break that down in a second. But first off, Raptors only shoot 46% from, three, uh, from, from the field, whereas the Pelicans shoot 53%. However, the Raptors shoot 15 more field goals. You knock down one more. It's kind of the difference maker there. Uh, you're 39% from three, 16 of 41. Again, you shoot 41 threes. You're bound to knock in quite a few. You knock down 16, which is a season high for the Raptors. And uh, free throw percentage, 70%. But mainly that's down just because of the bench guys having a tough time shooting the free throws. But the big thing in this game was the rebounding. You come into this game, Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins, two guys that can bang the glass hard. They are good players on the glass. The Raptors out-rebounded the Pelicans 49-38. We were plus 11 on the glass, plus 6 on the offensive glass, 10-4. to four. Uh, The Raptors had 27 assists in this game, you know, and they only had 12 turnovers. Just a great game. Now, like I said, we needed a big game from JV. We needed a big game from Serge Ibaka because you had, you know, you were facing Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. Now, what did the Raptors do? Anthony Davis on the season is averaging 28 points a game. He's having a ridiculously good year. And he only had 18 points, 7 boards, a couple assists. You know, and, and uh, he, he was four, he was 42% from the field. The Raptors did a great job against him. Boogie, you know, rebounding, yeah, he's a freak. He's going to do that. But he's averaging almost 29 points a game. He only had 20 in this game and shot 8 of 24 for t for 33%. Again, like I say, Serge Ibaka, JV, did unbelievable against these two defensively. They were working their tail off today. You know, as much as DeMar had over 30 points and Kyle had a big night, JV and Serge are the reasons we won this game. You know, Serge Ibaka went 19 points, 8 boards, 3 assists on 8 of 14 shooting 57% compared that to Anthony Davis. Well, he had another, he had one more point, but he took a ton less shots. So there you go. Great job there. Now, JV didn't have the points. He only had 7 points on 3 of 9 shooting. Had a tough night offensively. But what JV was doing defensively against DeMarcus Cousins and having 13 rebounds as well, JV was huge on the glass. Uh, you know, Norman Powell only played 18 minutes, had eight points on three of seven shooting, didn't have a big night, but he didn't play a lot either. So that was that. They played OG quite a bit in this game, and he looked he didn't look out of position. But your big guys, your guards, your all-stars, they have to be your all-stars to win tight games like this. Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan, they were. Kyle had 18 points, six rebounds, and seven assists. On 7 of 13 shooting, 53%. Knocked down a couple big threes for the Raps in this game. He was 4 of 10 from 3. 40%. I ain't gonna... <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't saying anything about that. He did a great job. And also Serge Ibaka on his great shooting night. He was 3 of 6 from 3 for 50% as well. And no, JV didn't check up a 3. Um, and DeMar DeRozan, I mean, you know, as of late, he's been doing unbelievable. And down, down in the last, like, minute or so... You know, they kept fouling him, obviously, to go to the free throw line. So he was knocking them down. Missed, like, one or two. But, you know, I mean, knocked down most of them. Ended with 33 points, two boards, and get this, eight assists for DeMar DeRozan. Great job moving the ball, as well as when you're knocking down your shots, you're knocking down your shots. Now, percentage-wise, he wasn't all that great. 10 of 23 for 43%. And he knocked down two threes as well. But he gave you 33 points and, I, and and eight assists. I think I'll take that any day from DeMar DeRozan. 
Uh, you know, Jakob Pertl had 6.6 boards. CJ Miles, 9 points off the bench with a couple threes. He was 2 of 8 from 3, so not all that great, but he knocked down a couple threes there. OG with 8 points, couple boards, and a steal in, in his 15 minutes of work. He was 3 of 4 shooting for 75%, 1 of 2 from 3. Again, the problem with this with this kind of bench is the free throw shooting. Now let's break this thing down a little bit. CJ Miles was fine, but Jakob Pertl on the season shooting 40% from the free throw line. That is no good. You know, OG was one of two today, but he's had just over 50% on the season. Uh, you know, you know what you're going to get from Van Vliet, a point guard, obviously. Shooting-wise, he was only one of seven. Didn't have a great night already. And Siakam's had a ridiculously awful night from the free throw line. Missed all three today. I think he's four of 13 on the season or something like that. And so that, that, that's something, if you're looking at one thing for the bench to clean up, it's kind of like that. Um, just, but, the, but the bench did their thing. You know, DeLon had eight points. Siakam had two, but he had five boards and three assists as well. Freddie Van Vliet, again, didn't have a great night. Um, OG had eight, CJ Miles nine, and like I said, Pirtle with six and six. The bench kind of, you know, they kind of fluttered there in the fourth quarter, but then the starters came out and they got the job done. That's what we didn't see a couple games ago. The bench was doing great, but the starters weren't doing great. Now it's vice versa, but the bench was still contributing, you know, as much as they can. And they did a great job, but the big picture... Raptors get the win 122-118 and are now 7-4 and four on the season. They've won two straight games. The Leafs and Raptors both won two in a row right now. We're feeling good about ourselves. But now, we wanted to take care of business here at home, and we did. Now, this is where things get interesting. Next up for the Raptors is they play Sunday afternoon, a 3.30 tip-off. Um, that video will be out to you guys later that night. Kind of like this video, maybe even a little bit later. I'll keep you guys updated on the Twitter. Um, link will be in the description for that, uh, guys. Uh, when that video will be uploaded, I'll kind of I'll kind of let you know, you know, when I'm stuff like that, so then you guys know when about when it'll be. You can you can kind of get the gist of it from the games over to when it usually uploads. Kind of pick that time when I say that uh, I'm ready to upload or I'm about to start to upload the video. All right, but. The Boston Celtics in Boston at TD Garden, 3.30 tip-off, like I said. They're on an absolute roll. They've won 10 in a row. They're a damn good team. I mean, I'm not going to beat around the bush and say, oh, the Raptors can cakewalk these guys. They're a good team. Kyrie's fitting in real well. They don't they haven't missed a beat since Gordon Hayward, uh, you know, was, was gone, I guess. you got to find a way. It, you you got to be able to shoot the ball. They're a really good defensive team. I think they're holding teams like 97 points on the year. They're doing a really good job defensively. But as the Raptors have to do, they have to come out, and they have to shoot the ball, and they have to defend. As, as straightforward as that sounds, it's not going to be easy. They're a good team. They're a pretty young team, too. What do you guys think? I want to know what you guys have to say. And, uh... We'll talk to you guys, I guess. That'll, that'll, whew, I, I'm ready to go. Raptors feeling good. Celtics feeling real good. Who's going to win Sunday? I want to hear what you guys have to say, all right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video and uh, you guys enjoyed this game because it was a back-and-forth game, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below what you guys think of the game. What you guys think of JV and Surge? Big nights from them. Uh, Kyle and DeMar, big nights from them, as, as, as you well, as we've seen as of late from these guys. And they, they've started to get their feet wet, and Kyle's found his shot a little bit more, and he, he's looking a lot better now. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the bench. Like, give, give me everything. And also, what do you guys think for Sunday afternoon? Raptors, Celtics. Whew, it's going to be a doozy. Um, and we'll talk to you guys. Leafs edition, that'll be tomorrow night. It's the Leafs are still at home. Taking on the Boston Bruins, first first night of a back-to-back, -back, and then you go to Boston to, to, to TD Garden um, to face them. And it's weird. Saturday, Leafs play Boston in Boston. Sunday, Raptors play Boston in Boston. So kind of like a back-to-back-to-back -back -back when it comes to Toronto teams facing Boston teams. It's going to be a crazy weekend. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it, and I know I will. And we'll talk to you guys, like I said, for tomorrow. As the Leafs look to end this little ro uh, homestand on a three-game win streak and head to Boston feeling good. And we'll talk to you guys Raptors edition, like I said, a little bit later on Sunday. Um, 
As the Raptors play the Boston Celtics, they've won 10 straight, we've won 2 straight, 330 tip-off, TD, Garden, holy smokes, here we go. We'll talk to you guys then.